All right, all right, we're back in this episode, and this time we're going to put into practice what we learned last time. And if you remember in the last episode, we learned how to specify the result of a function. So we're going to put that into place in the code that we've already been working on. So if you do not have this code, go back you know, and watch the series, because we've been working on this code together. And if you have been following the series, you should have the code equal to what I have on the screen right now. So what we're going to do this time is we are going to practice writing functions that return a result. So the hurt player function right here is working correctly, but since we're passing a literal value right here through the damage method, which our literal value is 50, um, that value can only change when we manually um, change this code. So, oops, that value can't change unless we manually change this code going forward but we don't want that we want it so it just continues to change so let's make that a little bit more flexible in this uh, episode based off of what we learned last time and the way that we're going to do it is if you can remember back in lesson four we use conditions to calculate how much damage or healing would be done by the potions uh, remember we were doing the little potion healing and stuff like that and it was depending on the player's health so we're going to bring some of that code back into this one and we're going to make it a function called calculate damage and it's going to return a value of a float so we're going to show that value in a constant and then we're going to pass that damage method in so in order to do that and i know that sounded like a lot but in order to do that to do that it's not that much all we have to do is create a function named calculate damage and then within that function we have to declare two constants uh, of two float constants, a minimum health potion damage amount. And then we're going to declare the variable uh, float for player health. We're going to declare, all right, so just follow along and we'll declare all of those things in its own function here. Now, remember when you write a new function, you want to line it up with on begin because you don't want it to happen underneath on begin, right? So this one's going to be called calculate damage. All right, and then if it's a function, you remember you have to put it like that. So put a space, put a colon, and what kind of, uh, this is probably gonna be a float. So let's call it a float. And then we're gonna say equals. And for this, we just press enter. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, and the reason why it's not being, uh, it's nothing underneath it here yet. So let's go ahead and put the things underneath it. So it said declare two constants, a minimum health. So minimum health is going to be a constant of a type float. And that's going to equal 1.0. Just like in the last one that we did, or the other one that we did. And let's do another one called uh, potion damage amount. And this is also going to be a float. And this one's going to be equal to 80.0. All right, and then the last thing they asked it to do is do a variable called player health. So VAR, and we'll call it player health. All right, and then we're going to make that equal uh, 100. So it's going to be a float, and it's going to equal 100. All right, but remember to put point zero. All right, cool. So now our calculate damage function is pretty much create uh, created. That's pretty much what we needed in there. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do is create an if else if else expression that references uh, one of these three values. So basically, if you can remember in the last time we were setting up the the potion damage amount, we had to put an if else if else statement in there. We're going to have to put that same thing underneath this calculate damage here. So skip a line here, and we're going to just do an if, else, if, and else. And here's the conditions. We want it to return potion damage amount if the player health is greater than the potion damage amount. And else if the player health 
is less than the potion damage amount but greater than the minimum health, we want it to return player health minus the minimum health. And then else, um, if the player health is less than or equal to the minimum health, we want the, the, uh, the function to return player health. So in order to write that, we just got to write the if else statements. So start with your if one and we'll do if space uh, parentheses and we're going to say player health greater than potion damage amount so use your player health and you should find it right there on your list and space greater than potion damage amount right there cool so if that's the case you want to put a colon afterwards because you want something to happen and then after that you want it to return potion damage amount so let's put on the next line return and then just space and potion damage amount right there okay next line we'll write else if and then right here I think we're gonna to have to go ahead and put another parentheses because we want some more conditions in here so we're gonna say player health greater than minimum health player health and then greater than minimum health all right cool then we have to put a colon afterwards and on the next oops on the next line what we're going to do is say the return so return and what we wanted to return this time is the potion damage amount I mean we want actually we wanted to return player health minus minimum health so player health hold on there we go minus minimum health boom all right cool now on the next line we need to do the else statement so else and else doesn't have any conditions in it it has just a colon and so what we'll do is just put it on the next line and we would just want it to return something return the player health I don't know if I spelled that right or something let's see there you go all right return player health all right cool so our calculate damage is um, this function here is now set up with conditions and all and the effect of this code is that it's going to give the player a second chance um, if they drink a potion that would normally kill them so if their 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 health is low and they drink a potion that's going to normally kill them it's going to put their health at one and that's why we wrote it like an if else if else statement alright so now that we made a function that returns a useful result we need to store that result so we're going to declare a constant and it's going to be a float called damage to do and we're going to initialize that constant with the return value of calculate damage so let's add this to our hurt player function so let's add all of that let's add a way to initialize this into the hurt player function so the first thing that we need to do we have to create a, a uh, constant down here in the hurt player so down here before Fortnite character damage 50 let's go down and let's write something else on top of that line right there so let's write the a constant let's declare it it's called damage to do and just how you declare any constant we're going to make it a float and for the value we're going to make it equal that function that we made so in here we're going to just say calculate damage just like that so now our constant right here is a float but the return is going to be calculate damage that's pretty cool right all right cool now the next thing that we need to do and actually I did that wrong because this is what it should be it should be equals calculate damage like that so calculate damage and then the parentheses outside because we're calling a function and the function calls like that so there we go that's perfect now the next thing that we need to do is let's make a function called uh, well before we do that before we do the heal part let's finish this one off because it still says Fortnite character damage 50 
why don't we just say Fortnite character damage and then pass in this constant that we made right here. So that's what we'll do last here. So Fortnite character dot damage and then we'll say damage to do right there. In between this, we can print off a line to tell us what's going to happen. So we can see it happening on the log screen when we run this code. So let's print off something that says like this. Print and then open it and then say damage uh, to do is colon space. And then we're going to put it in the curly brackets damage to do like the very, the constant. There you go. Close that. Outside the curly brackets, put a quotes, and then you'll be done there. All right, cool. So that's our whole hurt player function set up perfectly. And we are using that hurt player function to call another function, which we made up here called calculate damage. So that's lit, y'all. Now, the, 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 the documentation is asking us to go ahead and do on our own something like this for the heal player. Now. I would leave you guys to do it on your own, like the documentation, but I, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? We're all doing this together. Let's learn together, okay? So, um, in order to do the same similar thing to the heal player right here, we have to create a whole nother function, and then we need to create another constant that we can call down here uh, in the heal method. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come right up at the top of mine and right before calculate damage or it could be after all this calculate damage so down here doesn't matter but let's go ahead and make another one another function instead of calculate damage oh shit instead of calculate damage what we're gonna do is call this one um, calculate heal what we do is write calculate heal And we're going to put an open parentheses just like that and skip that. Press space, colon, and it's going to be a float. And it's going to be equals to whatever is below it. So let's go ahead and put something below it. And this time we're going to say max health. Let's actually set, I don't know how many variables we're going to need. Let's see. We're going to probably need max health and potion heal amount and then a variable called player health so let's make our first constant called max health and this is going to be a float and it's going to be equals to 100.0 the next constant that we're going to need is called potion heal amount and this is also going to be a float and it's going to be equal to, I don't know, let's say 20, 30, doesn't matter what you pick, 20. And then lastly, we need a variable called player health. And you're asking yourself, why are we creating another variable called player health? And basically, the reason why we're doing this, it needs to be a float, and we're going to equal it to 100. But the reason why we're doing this is because if we learned last time, that um, when we write a function, the code block that's underneath that function is only going to pertain to that function. So that's why I was adding another one here. All right, so now that we've got that done, we need to go ahead and add the if else statements. But in this one, like in the heel, we don't need an if else if else, we just need an if. Uh, if and a else. So if the player health plus the potion heal amount, and then you say if that's greater than, if that's greater than the max health, then we want something to happen. But real quick, um, Let's put potion heal amount in player health in its own parentheses here. So it's saying if player heal amount is greater than the max health, then we want it to return 
max health. Right. And else. Oops. Else, what happens? We want it to return um, the player health. Yep. Bop. Just like that. So now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a, 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 a constant down here in our heal player function. And this, this constant should be similar to this one. So instead of uh, damage to do, let's create one called heal to do. So under that, let's say heal to do. And then put a space colon. And we're just declaring a constant here. So we're going to say it's a float. And it's going to equal uh, not calculate damage this time. But this time it's going to equal calculate heal. So it should be the second one on my list. Perfect. But it's not perfect. There we go. Now it's perfect. So it's saying heal to do is going to be a float and it's going to be equal to calculate heal. The last thing we'll do is put a print and we'll say print um, quotes heal to do colon curly brackets heal to do. Boom. And outside the curly brackets, put an end quote. And then in the last line of code here where it says Fortnite character heal, let's change that 20 to calculate. Oh, not, not even calculate heal. We need to just change it to heal to do. There you go. Bop. Now, if we file and save that, basically now our code is really set up perfect so what's happening here is on begin play we've got two um functions that we've called out here or we haven't even called them we just initialized them and we we said or we defined them is a better word we said we got a calculate heal function and it does all of this and we've got a calculate damage function and it does all of this then down here what we're doing is we're actually defining two other functions hurt player function and heal player function these functions are a little bit more advanced because they have other functions that they're referencing inside of them so if we run the code what right what we have happening is we're calling the hurt player function then we're printing player hurt then we've got it delaying for five seconds which for this example Let's change that to 10 because I, I want to show you guys something when it, when it runs. And then it's going to heal the player. So if everything is everything, then we should be good here. So file, save, and then open up your Fortnite stuff. All right, so now you've launched, now you got yourself in your Fortnite stuff and you launched your game. So let's come into my island here inside of our Fortnite game and start the game. So what we're going to see now is that the player health and all that stuff is going to get affected it's going to wait to go down 80 percent and then it's going to get a we're going to wait 10 seconds and it's going to go up by the heal amount so let's wait 10 seconds and it went up so let's see what happened there let's go over to our log here and let's see if our prints came on the screen so the damage that it did was 80 then it said the player was hurt and then the heal that it did was 100 and it said player was healed perfect so everything in our code worked perfectly guys and now we know a little bit more about how to call these functions and get them right so thanks for joining me in this episode i'll holla at y'all in the next one peace